Hello. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be um, taking a look at the Rus Russian conflict in Ukraine. So, let's take a look at Bakhmut. So, this is the city about to fall. It's pretty populated. Um, I do not know what the nuclear symbol means. Nuclear power plant, maybe, I guess. Um, hmm. So... If you haven't paying attention to the news yet, you would notice notice that Ukraine, um, that Russia has been pushing towards Bakhmut. It could be the biggest victory in Russian history in the Ukraine war, but depending, on, but it's taken way taken way longer than Russia expected. Russia has a lead, they're a lead to the, so let's take a look at why Russia has um, their elite division. Why Russia has um, to, has been making progress in Bakhmut and not in other places. Well, well, the um, well, the um, Russian elite forces are. I forget what they are called, but the Russian elite forces are fighting in Bakhmut, but they are asking for supplies, and um, apparently the Russians don't have supplies. Now, there have been several reports of not only several Cold War inhumane weapons in, found in Ukraine, but there has also been reports of U.S. weapons, Western U.S. weapons in Ukraine. This is because before the war, of course, the U.S. and Russia were one of the biggest trading partners, and, you know, they had stockpiles of U.S. weapons. Well, now that they aren't big trade partners, they are leasing the um, weapons onto... They are um, at least send the weapons on to the um, thing, which is kind of strange for the second largest military. So let's get to the main question. Why in heaven's name is Russia, Russia losing to Ukraine? Let's pinpoint it to a couple of... Let's pinpoint it to a couple of reasons firstly firstly the uh, russians had lack preparedness like they only prepared for a couple for a couple months in which is not enough time and plus they poorly prepared um why are the ukrainians prepared for s ever since their independence with the U.S., they have, like, big pre preparations with the United States. If we look over here, it says Ukraine claimed counteroffensive. So, this is the um, land that the Ukrainians took on the Kherson offensive. If you didn't know, so, um, you might know, you might be thinking, how did Russia get to Kherson? Well... Russia got to Kherson due to some, um, some, due to some, um, what, no? due to corruption in the, uh, due to corruption in the, I'm recording the video, due to corrupt, due to, sorry, that's my brother. You, Russia got to Kyrgyzstan due to the corruptness of the Ukrainian ranks. Second reason. Second reason. Um, the Ukraine, the uh, Russians sent an operation to Ukraine to see if a lot of people would support a Russian invasion. Since the, um, since the Rus. The um, corrupt Russian officials of the CIA type thing created um, 
created since the of the new KGB slash then I mean, um, kind of like the Russian version of the CIA, um, spent their money because again they were corrupt. They um. They sent some money. They sent. They um spent the money on some other places, and they just told that the P- Ukrainian people would, um, would that the Ukrainian people would um. Oh my God, Alexa, stop! Anyways, I'm uh, I'm sorry, but so the. Russ, they just said that the um, Ukrainians would support a Russian offensive, which Russian part of which clearly is not true. If you could read that text, reported Ukrainian partisan warfare in Metopol, um, Donetsk, even in um, Luhansk, which was already fighting a resistant war against Ukraine. This is not good for Russia at all. As you can see, it goes all the way to far down to this plant as the, it is close to Crimea, which was occupied by Russia in 2014. It has Marupo and stuff like that. So that is basically it. I should make a YouTube short about it. Um, but I just wanted to brush you guys up. Thank you for the infographic show for... Um, sending me a lot of this information.